Uh, Jasmine, tell me what happened when you were 13 years old. When I was 13 years old, my mother's boyfriend sexually assaulted me. This man was not a stranger. Um, my mother didn't raise me, so my great-grandparents raised me. When she would come around, she would be with this man. So when I eventually went to go live with her, when I did turn 13, it was just weird energy. He would just stare at me um, for long periods of time. Um, when that, the night in question, when that happened, um, I was sitting in my room, you know, I'm just, I'm at home. This is my home. I'm comfortable. I'm in my room. I'm in my pajamas. I'm watching TV. Um, he comes in my room and he tells me, your mother wanted me to come in here and look at what you're wearing to the school dance. So I said, okay, cool. You know, it's laying on my bin behind me. He kind of, he didn't even go over there and look. He just kind of peeked and said, all right. Like that really wasn't his objective coming in my room. So he immediately came and sat next to me on the floor and um, he's just staring like directly at my breast, just staring. And I'm just uncomfortable. So I'm just trying to kind of, you know, stiff up a little bit. And he's just sitting there about two minutes go by. He just asks me, you want to have big breasts like your mom? <laughs> and I'm just stuck. Like, I don't have any words for that. So he just said, hmm, got up, walked around me, sat on my bed. He asked me to come sit in front of him. So I come and I sit in front of him. And he tells me that, you know, me and your mom are getting really serious. So it looks like I'm going to be here for a while. I need to make sure I'm able to trust you with certain information. So I'm thinking in my head, like, what information? Like, I'm 13 years old. What information could you be trying to give to me that, you know, that's that important that you need me to keep your secret? Like, what type of information are you talking about? So I said, OK, like what? Like, what are you saying? He said, well, for example, if I was to, like, grope you or touch your breasts, would you go tell your mom? I just kind of, I just froze. Like, I didn't have any words. I just froze up. Like, this is all just crazy to me. Yeah. I freeze up, and immediately, he just reaches his hand into my shirt. Like, just opens my shirt and just reaches in. And he, um, he's groping, he's feeling, touching. It's just really uncomfortable. I tried so hard to fight back tears while he was doing that. I felt so disgusting, like, I was a low of a, like, I'm a low, like, I'm low. Why would he want to do this to me? So after he leaves out, I think I probably sat up for about an hour crying. Um, I eventually dozed off, and he comes back into my room. I'm asleep, but I hear him come into my room. So I kind of just peek my eyes open, you know, not trying to let him know that I see him. And he slips about 20, 30 bucks under my pillow. The next day, or maybe two days later, my, I'm asleep in my mom's room. I'm just laying in the middle of floor asleep, just resting. She comes in, and she kind of just plops down on the bed. And she's like, um, you know, my boyfriend's at the door. I'm like, OK. Like, what does that have to do with me? She wakes me up out of my sleep to tell me this. I'm like, OK, what that got to do with me? She's like, well, he said he's not coming in until you open the door. So I'm like, wow, OK. She's just sitting there eating, like, this is just normal. Like, this is another kid at the door telling me to come open the door. So I go open the door. Immediately when I open the door, he asks me, are you mad at me? Like, are you upset? Did I make you, like, I don't want you to be upset with me. I don't want you to think that I'm a pedophile or I like kids or anything like that. I just said, I just tried to hurry up and just quit the conversation. No, I'm good. Like, because I'm thinking in my head, like, you're telling me all of this. But I'm thinking something totally different. Because if, it, if that was really your intentions, you would have never did that to me. Yeah, you can't misinterpret what he did. Right. Like, it's clear that you have an infatuation with kids. And he sexually assaulted you. Right. About two weeks later, my grandmother finally squeezed the question, the, uh, the um, answer, you know, the story out of me, what happened. And from there, boom, run upstairs. She tells my mom, she's like, Tarani, Tarani. Um, do you know that your boyfriend touched your daughter? She, he touched her. He touched her. My mom Did you, you told your grandmother? Yeah, yeah. I told her. She had me write a statement and everything. 
Like Your grandmother went upstairs. did that. Yeah. Oh, good for her. <laughs> My mother was, you know, in the streets, you know, fast moving. She never wanted anything to really just hold her down. Okay. So after a few years and I found out that my mom was actually my mom. Oh, you didn't know? Yeah, I thought that was like my sister. Like, I honestly thought that was my sister. But when I did eventually live with her, she's just doing all of this stuff to me. It's like, <laughs> like now, I didn't she, she eventually gave you up, right? Yes, she did. How old were you then? I was still 16, but I was getting ready to be 17 in a couple weeks. And so what happened to you? Where'd you go? I went to the hospital, and she called the hospital. I think it was probably like one in the morning. It was a social worker in my room. I know, I already knew how this went. You know, this wasn't my first rodeo. So she tells me that, um, you know, we talked to, we spoke to your mother, and um, she's just like, I'm really sorry. I want to tell you what she said. I'm like, just tell me what she said. She's like, your mother told us that she didn't want you, you know, we can just take you, do whatever we want with you. She didn't want, you can't come back to the house. Like she was talking to them like she was talking to the pound about a dog or something. You, try, you tried to ruin my education, ruin my, my adolescence, ruin my adulthood, like just my morals, everything. You made me feel so low and you were trying to keep me there. Well, first of all, I, I, want, I gotta say this. I'm really proud of you because Because in this world today, everybody's a victim. Right. Everybody. And which is, which people are victims, right? Right. But then they're a victim for the rest of their life. Right, right. Oh, it was my childhood. Okay, well now you're an adult. Right. You can control it. And it seems like you went through this horrible uh, period of like your mother not raising you, your father wasn't in your life, and here you are, a success. Right. My daughter approached me and told me that my then boyfriend had fondled her one night in her room. I was shocked, for one. Um, and I just really couldn't believe what she was telling me. You know, he swore up and down to me that it did not happen, he wouldn't do that. Things were good with me, him, and our family. So I just needed to do my own investigation. I contacted family members, I talked to family members, and there was nobody, absolutely nobody, that could verify that this man has ever had any predatory actions or history. She became defiant. I would cook and she just didn't want to eat. I would tell her to do something and she would take her time to do it or just not do it at all. Or I would have to really get in her face to make her do it. And then once I start getting in her face, that's when the arguments would start happening. And then the police would get called out. I had did everything that I could for Jasmine over the years. Um, it had just gotten to the point where it was just way too much and I just couldn't do it anymore. And so that is when I surrendered Jasmine to the state. And here we are today. <laughs> if it comes out that Jasmine's telling the truth and you stayed with this man for years after, how would that feel? I don't even know. I don't know, that probably would, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I wonder if his number the same, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't even know. I don't. Even, I would have so many emotions going through me. Why is Jasmine? <laughs> the lies, child. Lies. You didn't. You thought I was your sister? Yes. Like growing up, what? Seriously. Been living with. Well, what did you think you were? You weren't there, like, come on, you're gonna sit up here and act like you were there, like you were there, there? Like, you're gonna Jasmine, really act like you were there? Uh, hello? We hello? have all lived together in the same house. When I was 13. No, when you like, were a baby. When, when? We lived with your grandmother. 
You let a man go into your 13-year-old daughter's room and shut the door? Okay, first of all, Steve. Did you? Yes. Okay, Why did but you I let did that not, happen? Because at the, at the time, it did not register to me. I did not think that this Why man not? would do something like that. Why not? How does be that not register with you? Let, let me ask you this. First of all, would you he let, would had you been let, around would you, since would she you, was a newborn would child. You let, would you let a 15-year-old boy go in a room and shut the door? No! Exactly! <laughs> I do. Because from I know my why. experience, <laughs> Somebody just doesn't wake up in the morning and say, oh, I'm going to go touch a child today. Really? In wow. all of my experiences, there is either somebody that can corroborate that that person why, has had Why would you history. think she was lying? Why would you think she was lying Because at I had told this man my story. He knows my experiences, what I went through. And for him to do that to my child, why would you do that to my child after you knew did everything you say this that to him? I went did through? Did you say this to him? Yes, I did. And what did do you he think say? he cared about us? You thought you think he cared about us? And he told me that it never happened. So That's you believe him? Over me. Over me. Your flesh and blood. Over me. When a young girl is sexually assaulted. Sneaking in out the window. I found yeah, out no letters to, from you between you and that dude up in. Indiana Let about how you how and are you his finding letters? Was, run, was running oh trains God. on you and all this. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, 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 yeah. Whoa, okay. Oh, whoa, yeah. Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Whoa, whoa. That's really nice. That's really nice to stand on this audience, <laughs> on this stage, and talk <laughs> about your own daughter. I'm not talking <laughs> about her, but she knows. about this investigation you did. Tell yeah, me about I, the I investigation. Hear it too. My, what I did was I went to people in his family. I talked to his mother. Oh, God. oh yeah, because the mom's going to say, yeah, he's a child molester. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, like I'm okay. saying. Why didn't you have professionals do an investigation? Molester. Why didn't you have the police or child protective services? Why didn't you let professionals investigate this? Do you have money for that? Oh, well, maybe you do, the but I don't. The police and Child Protective Services don't cost nothing. <laughs> because I don't believe everybody in my they business. Came and took, they came what? and took what? me for free. I didn't need everybody in my business. But you were going to do an investigation. I just asked a couple of questions. Why didn't you let professionals do that? Because I can ask questions myself. I have a mouth. I uh, have an and, independent and mouth. And your investigation determined she was not telling the truth. No, it determined that he didn't have anything like that in his background. So you gave him a free pass? Basically. That, that right there, as a trained investigator, says to me, something happened. Something happened. There's no reason for that man to go in there and shut the door with a 13-year-old girl. <laughs> Jasmine came here today, and she took a lie detector test. And we asked her, did Tyranny's then boyfriend reach under your shirt and touch your breasts when you were 13 years old? She answered yes. Did Tyranny's then boyfriend come to you after he sexually assaulted you and ask you if you were mad at him for what he did to you? She answered yes. After you told Tyranny what her then boyfriend did to you, did she withhold food from you? She answered yes. The results came back all the same, and they came back that Jasmine told the truth. Jasmine, look at me. The truth is out there now. It's out there now. So we know it happened, okay? Okay? Then we say this is what we wanted. We just wanted the truth to be known. And now that the truth is known, we can move forward now, baby. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just wish you all the luck. You, you seem like you're doing great. Uh, you fought through a lot of tough times. Like I said, people become victims, and a lot of people decide to be a victim for the rest of life. Right. You're not. You're strong. You're a beautiful young woman. You're a great mother. And I hope that you can repair the relationship with your mother. Thank you. Good luck to you. Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here 
to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.